Hello guys, in this video we are going to see when and where to use codes in SAS macro. So for this reason I have created a data set named as uh, data sales and it has just only one value. Now let's say my, my target is to print uh, the title like sales for the year 2017. So obviously we will use the title statement for this and to print anything we will surround it by quotes and then let's use the prop print statement to print the data set right so now now my objective is just not to print this value directly so let's say uh, this this value will change year after year i will create a mac, uh, macro variable so this is a simple way to create a macro variable as using the let statement and the macro variable and the value. So now I'm going to call this value here. For this I will be using ampersand symbol and the macro variable. So let's use to define the macro variable and ampersand and the value of the macro variable will resolve it to 2017. So just run run and check this out. So it didn't work actually. Uh, this is because SAS doesn't peek into the values surrounded with single quotes. So in order to make this work, I have to surround it by double quotes. So whenever you use double quotes, SAS will check whether there is any macro variables is there to be resolved. Now let's run this. So it works. So now our next objective is to find out uh, what the value and the type of the macro variable. So let's for this reason I will create another data set. Uh, let me use the same data set here. No, okay, I will create another data set. All sales and y1 equal to so I am going to uh, use single code, double code, and one without any code. And let's see what would be the value and the type of that particular variable. Yeah, I'll just copy paste it. Right, and to end it with a semicolon, and then let's run this. So we'll surround this with single quote, and surround this with double quote. Now I'm going to run this one to check out what will be the value and type of each variable. So you will see here these two things are in character type and the first one is in numeric type. So whatever uh, we have defined over here is a numeric variable, numeric value 2017 and whenever you are using a quote, double quote uh sas is picking inside and resolving it to a character type and since you haven't given any quotes over here it just took uh, the uh, the the initial uh, uh, variable type and this one doesn't resolve uh, we have already seen this in our previous example so it just printed over like ampersand y or over here now the real trouble comes when we use single quotes here. Now, now try to uh, predict what will be the value and the type for each of this variable. So if you see here, everything is character now, but it's actually obvious because Whenever you are using quotes in the 
macro macro variable you got just defining the character variable over here so anything which goes as a character will be again character that's the reason you see its character in all all the variables now let's say i have to print again sales for the year 2017 but if you check here it has codes but in the output in y3 even it has codes but in y1 it doesn't have code so if you want it without codes then what you have to do is turn this to single codes uh, you are telling that don't look inside this and use this so this two are similar now it will print without any codes so for safety i will create another micro variable here and let's run it again see so we can fix this space by giving a space here right so we got our expected output but uh, in order to avoid this situation it's better to remove the codes in the macro variable so don't use codes in the macro variable unnecessarily so it will save you a lot of steps like you can directly use the double quotes here this macro variables are it will be it will be under full control under you right now i will get the same output with less code uh, with less confusion as well so again this doesn't always means you have to use double quotes over here now you got the idea all right so whenever you have to resolve the macro use the double quotes whenever you don't want to resolve a variable for example if i just want to print it as such uh if i let's say if i don't want to print uh, resolve it to 2017 then i have to change it to single quotes so the best tip is to not to use quotes over here because it will again create so much confusion Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video.